Now I think it's pretty safe to say that the future of the Star Wars franchise seems to be quite expansive, not just with their books, novels, comics, and video games, but also their new Star Wars TV shows and Star Wars movies that are currently in development by, of course, Jon Favreau, Dave Filoni, Disney CEO Bob Chapek, and others associated with Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, I am on Twitter at Mike Zero One. If you guys want to go ahead and give me a follow on there, we do post a couple of fun and entertaining things from time to time, and we actually like to interact with you guys further. So, everything ranging from what's been going on between Disney and Lucasfilm is that their ultimate goal right now is to really regain the lost fans from the sequel trilogy and from the firing of Gina Carano. Those are the two major events that really caused a lot of Star Wars fans to walk away from the franchise for good and that they are now trying to create projects that are going to attract them to come back to the overall franchise and their new approach to how Star Wars is going to be handled in a more respectful manner. So obviously everything ranging from the Book of Boba to Mando Season 3, to Kenobi, Andor, and Bad Batch Season 2, just to, for starters. That's just the first little phase there of what's to come. You know, let's not forget about the Ahsoka Tano series as well. There is a lot at work here between Bob, John, Dave, and George to really get the ball rolling again. And I do really respect the fact that they are trying to just work around the clock, making sure that they are pouring all of their energy into using all of their passion to Star Wars to really make it reflect on the fans. So, with that being said, what's really all the more intriguing has everything to do with what Mark Hamill was able to say about Star Wars and the overall direction for the character of Luke Skywalker and exactly what Jon Favreau is planning for the future of the Mandoverse at large. So, with that being said, of course, all right, Ever since Mark Hamill was involved with The Mandalorian Season 2 with the help of returning of Luke Skywalker, fans have been very curious about what's to come for the character in 2022 that will serve as a great addition to the franchise and in the Mandoverse. However, in a recent interview, Mark Hamill was able to reveal more details about the future of Star Wars and the character of Luke Skywalker. Mark Hamill went on to state that myself and Jon Favreau have been talking for a number of weeks now on how Luke Skywalker should be used in future installments in this new creation of, of course, his, that fans, are, fans and I noticed that, of course, they are calling it now the Mandoverse. Now, he kept on asking me, where do you see Luke going? How can we do this correctly, Mark Hamill said. And all I told John was to examine Luke's adventures in these old books from, what, over 20 years ago? My son reads them and absolutely is a wizard at the lore of Star Wars. Hamill went on to say that me and John eventually came to the conclusion that for future Mandalorian episodes, it would be best to advance the friendship between Luke and R2, what Luke Skywalker's romance will be like, and especially a first glimpse at his Jedi Academy. This is all something that is going to be explored in the future installments by this wonderful guy that I just need to give all the credit to. I remember giving him a big hug on the way off set that last day of filming, and it just felt so nostalgic and sad to me at the same time. But it's very well warming knowing myself and John agreed on how Luke should be handled in the future, and that even George Lucas chimed in on our conversations either through email or phone. I will say that the fans have no need to worry and that this man is really going to take care of things moving forward. I have no doubt in saying that my son had actually met John and even gave him some pointers on how the Legends material should be transferred into the new Star Wars world, and that he took that advice which was really and actually quite respectful to me. Additionally, separate from all of this, Hamill said that one of the large scenes that are planned to be filmed in early 2022, of course, is really going to be very force heavy. Now, aside from what Mark Hamill had actually said, there is a specific scene set to involve Luke Skywalker crafting a brand new lightsaber hilt that is going to be built inside of one of his Jedi training temples. It's said to be a scene for one of the early episodes that is set to involve Luke levitating over a stone in front of the temple with Grogu next to him. Now, it's heavily implied that this will be Grogu's lightsaber being developed as Grogu is said to be holding a yellow kyber crystal and this will, be, this will actually be passed on to Luke to finish building the saber. Now, this most likely connects to the Mandalorian Season 3 poster tease of both Luke and Grogu wielding a yellow lightsaber hilt with the kyber crystal next to it. Luke is also set to have a brand new costume and hairstyle 
in the series as there will be a ton jump of sorts for the actual series. It's unclear how far the ton jump will be from Mando Season 2, but there will be one for the very beginning of Season 3, which is still slated for a 2022 release. Here's the very interesting thing about this that I think a lot of fans need to examine, is the fact that Mark Hamill's son, all right, I don't know if you guys knew this, but Mark Hamill's son, I believe it's Nathan, if I'm not mistaken here. I believe it is Nathan, the one that knows all about the lore, but Mark Hamill even states that his son even gave Jon Favreau a lot of pointers on the EU and exactly how it should be used in the future Mando installments. Now, if you guys know a lot about Legends, I don't think anybody knows more about Legends than Mark Hamill's son. I mean, this guy really knows everything about everything. Go ahead and look him up. I mean, this guy knows every little specific detail, and he even would tell you know, Mark Hamill about it. And Mark Hamill even said in past interviews that he never even knew about those stories. And so when you have a lot of that being passed down to John Favreau, when you have all these discussions between Mark, George, and John, and exactly what's been going on to really succeed the character of Luke, you know, apart from what has happened with the sequel trilogy and the failure of how Luke was handled, now John Favreau and what he's doing is that he is trying his absolute best to really kind of resolve that, right? Now, the fact that Mark Hamill was able to come out and confirm that they are going to be exploring Luke and R2's friendship in greater depth than ever before, Luke Skywalker's romance, okay, his romantic interest or love interest or something around those lines will be explored in future installments as well as getting, a, uh, getting an actual glimpse at his Jedi training temple, something that we only got a little glimpse of in The Last Jedi. And that was it. You know, if anything, we only really saw the destruction of his Jedi temple for the most part. So, I think that what John is doing here is very passionate. The fact that he and Mark have had these in-depth discussions of how, you know, legends should cross over to the Disney canon or the Disney-verse, as a lot of people are starting to call it. Uh, everything related to Star Wars right now, I think it's looking more and more up, more positive. Like, as if they are creating the proper steps in the right direction to really succeed, right? And I think that we all have to give a lot of credit, like Mark Hamill said to John Favreau, because this guy not only has a great amount of knowledge about Legends, but he's also very passionate at heart. He's not just doing this just because I'm a filmmaker in his mind. He's doing this because he loves the franchise. He grew up with the franchise. He absolutely loves Star Wars. He's referenced it in multiple movies before in the past. So it makes a lot of sense. So with that being said, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.